Autumn Leaves is a seasonal piece. It's a classic melody, a classic song. If you pick up the song in a store, you might find a lead sheet. Uh, in other words, there would be a melody and there would be chord symbols on top. So what do you do? How do you take a piece of music that just shows you a melody and has some chords and turn it into an arrangement? And what's the kind of things you need to do to prepare yourself to practice scales? Uh, a song like Autumn Leaves is in the key of A minor, which means we would have a variety of minor scales would be possible. One could be playing what we would call the natural minor scale. You could have a harmonic minor scale. In this case, you would raise the seventh note up a half step, making a G sharp. A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A. did a melodic minor scale, we would hear the F sharp and the G sharp on the way up. And natural on the way down. So what is one more scale that we could have? We could have a chromatic scale. case all of the notes are a half step apart. Okay, so that'd be one element. The other element that you may want to be practicing on is your chords. In a lot of songs we will find the chords will be arranged in a relationship what we call the circle of fifths, for instance. In this song we go from A minor to D minor to G7 to C. If we were to look at that as the circle of fifths, we'd find that A is five notes above D, and D is five notes above G, and G is five notes above C, and C is five notes above F, and F is five notes above B, and B is five notes above E, and that brings us back, not to Do, but to La, A. So, knowing those chords, let's say the circle of fifths one more time. A, D, G, C, F, B, F diminished, B, and A. Some of those chords were major, some of the chords were minor. Uh, we need to know which chords would be in that key. And all of this informs you a little bit when you're looking at that chord chart of what you might do. Now, there are many ways of playing these chords. Like, for instance, I could do the A minor chord up here. In a song such as Autumn Leaves, we may find that in some places the notes are moving by step, like a scale, so that helps. And then in other places we might find the notes are moving by leap. Like, for instance, in the beginning of this piece, we have uh, the notes A, B, C, and the next note is F. Yes. The interval from C to F is a fourth. If you've been following some of the lessons I've given you about uh, intervals and the shapes on the guitar, you would recognize that this shape straight across would be a fourth. 
the next one goes from B to E, that's also a fourth. And the one after that is A to D, and you'd notice that that one's different because the third string to the second string is tuned to the third, and so the fourth, the shape of the fourth is more diagonal like this. Okay, so these are all things that can help you be able to prepare to figure out how you can, you can play the piece. Uh, we missed one thing. We may want to take those chords that we were just doing and we may want to arpeggiate them or we may want to strum them or we may want to create a rhythmic pattern that is interesting. So, so let me demonstrate. Uh, let's say we wanted to arpeggiate it. You might pick a pattern such as yes. If we wanted to strum it, maybe we wanted it to be kind of a gentle strum. So in creating an arrangement, we have to have some preparation. But I would like to invite you to start, even without all of those pieces yet firmly in place, I'd like to invite you to join me in a little class, if you're interested, uh, on how to arrange this piece. I will break it down for you, learning the melody, learning an arpeggiated chord sequence, learning the chords and getting uh, an idea of how to finger those chords. And then step by step, learning how to integrate bass notes with melody, chords with melody, some sort of an accompaniment to fill in space, and even consideration of what it would be like if we wanted to add more notes to the song. In other words, to improvise uh, on the song Autumn Leaves. If you'd like to do that, send me an email and I will be happy to give you some information about how you can sign up for such a class that will be 